Hi, welcome to this next uh, video on the assembly of the GT40 replica kit. Um, details of which, if, you, if you're not already a customer, can be found on our website, which is included in the um, links below, www.gtforte.co.uk. Uh, right, so next bit, I'm going to build up these uh, lower wishbones. Um, sort of obviously up is the way that the suspension uh, damp uh, shock absorber bracket is fitted and the first thing to do is to assemble the uh, ball joints onto the outboard end of the wishbone uh, so if you bought the deluxe starter kit these will come with it um, if you're building it from scratch uh, you may have been buying your components uh, piece by piece, so you'll find these under the suspension section of the website. You need M10 by 25mm long um, bolts and M10 nylock nuts uh, and washers. Simply fits on the end and bolts through. Obviously, on both sides, once I've done that, we'll get on with putting the poly bushes in, which is a pain. So I'll just fit these ball joints, then we'll get on with that. So I'm just running these uh, bolts through with the Allen key because again the powder coating is built up on inside the hole uh, and the holes are quite a tight fit to make sure this ball joint doesn't wobble about um, too much. So I'm just driving the bolts through the powder coating. It's not that the plates are threaded or anything. There we go, pull joints fitted. Okay, so the next thing to do is to fit the poly bushes. And the best way I've found to, to do that is to use some of this water-based lubricant uh, that the adventurous of you probably have in your bedroom. Um, but it's really good for fitting rubber things into holes. Um, and I didn't mean that as a pun. Uh, so just wipe a little bit around the outside. And they should slide in quite easily. Let's get them started, we can push them home properly in a moment. Push them all the way home. Now comes the slightly more tricky part, putting the inner steels in. all the way home. Okay, and uh, 
thanks to the miracle of modern technology, you didn't have to watch me pick those steel insults off, up off the floor as they squirted themselves out and flew all over the place because of the lubricant on my hands. Um, and just to finish them off, I just put them in a vice just to close them up and make sure that the steel inserts actually went all the way through the poly bushes. Uh, but there you go. That's those done. Uh, that would be the same process on the top upper wishbones, uh, on the upper wishbones at the front and the reverse lower wishbone at the at the rear. They all have poly bushes in as well. Um, so hope you find that useful. The next video will be dealing with the assembly of the top wishbone. Um, so if you like the video, find it useful, please like it and subscribe to the channel if you're building one of these cars or you're interested in building one of these cars so that you get notifications of when uh, I do new videos. Uh, there'll be quite a few uh, new videos coming pretty quickly as I uh, assemble this uh, chassis across the next week or so. Thanks for watching. Bye.